Hi, Trevor Topping here for the Bass College. Today I just want to be showing you guys um, how to edit videos in Sony Vegas Pro 12. It's just going to uh, be the basics of editing them in this software. Um, you know, your basic text, your transitions, um, putting pictures, logos, sounds in, music, stuff like that. So, first things first you want to do to get your clips into the Project Media Box, all you got to do is File, Import, um, and as you can see, I've already got them there in the box. I've got three clips I'm going to be working with, only three little ones for the purpose of the video. But yeah, just like I said, uh, file, import, and then it'll take you to your files, and you just um, click them and open them, and they show up there. So you see I've got those there. I recorded those yesterday at the local pond. They're just a couple short fishing clips. Um, to get these into your timeline, you got you see you got your timeline down here. All you got to do is drag them and drop them. Click yes to that. Drag, drop, just like that. Oops. What's going on here? All right, there we go. Okay. So now you see I've got my three clips in here, and so first thing I want to show you guys is um, how to put text into the video. Uh, it's pretty, it's quite easy. Um, I'm just going to move these to the side here, just so I can put my text in the beginning. Um, any any reason you might want to put text in would be how I usually do it is just to add a title or a closing sentence or anything like that um, or thanks for watching something like that so first uh, what you want to do is go into your media generators which is right here on the side go to titles and text and it's loading it should come up and here you've got all your different types of text um, any way that the text can come in like flying from right or drop split action flip anything like that Usually what I'll do is just use the regular um, default, just regular text, um, but sometimes I'll go with something else. But what you want to do is just drag, like, click, click onto the one you want, hold it down, drag it down into the um, timeline, and you see that it shows up here on the timeline where you put it, and then this box comes up that says sample text. So what you want to do is just put your text in whatever you want and in this sample text in this um, um, Sony titles and text box that comes up you can you know change your text however you want it you can change the uh, font um, you know the size and you can get a little bit more advanced with it with doing shadows and outlines and stuff like that um, but for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna do something simple make that sample and um, and just I'll show you real quick what you can do with it. If you highlight sample and go down and click outline, outline width, make it go up, outline color, make it red. So now you see on the side here, that it's white text with outline, outlined in red. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature next thing I want to show you guys so that's that's pretty easy to do um, when you're done with that just X that little box out there and it brings you back to your text thing um, to make a clip shorter or longer what you want to do is go to the end of it like that and that little cursor will go like that and it comes up trim event end so you can make it longer if you scroll that way or shorter if you scroll that way just like that alright another cool thing you can do is um, making like a uh, I'm gonna delete that text just just for just to do for the video Another thing you can do is kind of converge the clips that you have to make a transition. So you just take one clip 
and drag it into the other. You see there. If it focuses. Come on. Never mind. Because that's not focus. Oh, there it goes. So you can see that it's um overlapping with the other video and you can see the kind of X-y thing that comes up. It looks like an X. Um, that means it's overlapping. And what you can do is then put a transition in there. What you want to do for that is go to transitions which is right there. Where my cursor is. And now you've got all these different types of transitions um, like a barn door or a clock wipe or something like that. So I'm just, I'll just do a barn door. Double click on that and there it is and you've got a couple different options for the barn door type thing um, I'll just use the default one and what you want to do is take that and drag it right into where you made that vi those videos overlap just like that and then you can see You can see when I play it, and there's the transition. Cool. So that's transitions. Uh, let's see. Another thing I like to do is um, put pictures in. That's easy to do. All you got to do is go to your explorer right here, and it'll bring you just to, right to your files and you can go through your pictures here and pick a picture drag it in and then it comes up here and there it is on the uh, video preview alright let's see what else did I want to cover here um, another thing I'm gonna show you how to bring music or sounds in um, you gotta obviously have your music or your sound downloaded onto your into your files, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, all you gotta do is go up to the top where it says Insert uh, Video Track. So you now you've got a oh my bad Insert Audio Track. So you've got an audio track down there that's underneath your all your other things. Um, you can do File Import Media. Um, and your computer and find any sound or, or song or music that you have I'm gonna bring in a kinda like a photo taking sound so I could put it under the photo and when the photo plays it sounds like like you're taking a photo so I double click on that comes into the uh, project media box and I'll just put that right underneath where I put that logo so that when the logo goes as you guys will see and you heard that photo taking sound go when the logo came up that's pretty cool um same thing goes for uh when when you want to put music in or like a song all you got to do is um insert an audio track and put it down there and it'll just play and that's pretty cool. Okay. Thanks for watching part one of editing videos in Sony Vegas Pro 12. Make sure to go check out part two. I'm going to have some cool effects in that one, a little bit more advanced. Thanks for watching.